going on exiles my name is with honor and in this video I'm gonna talk about harvest league and the harvest mechanic and how to set it up uh, very easily and efficiently because I don't think it's that hard uh, what I do think is hard is watching all the other videos that exist that just seem to be out there uh, because people are trying to provide content and make YouTube videos for the sake of providing content and making YouTube videos and not really explaining much. So let's um, start from let's start from then and go to the beginning. So this is this is the end result. Okay, we want to plant tier four seeds. This is the most efficient, cleanest way to set up a tier four seed pod. And I'm calling it a pod because this exists. Uh, on its own without any other support other than just connecting it to your power source and when I talk about power sources that's the easiest way to think about the harvest mechanic okay the only three things you have to worry about are three power sources you have your purple you have your yellow and you have your blue okay where however you set up your power sources that part is very easy and uh, maybe at the end I'll talk about how to just set up like a a storage tank I don't know if I'll get into that I gotta talk about setting up this storage storage tank thing but it's not that hard I really think that getting to the point of setting up your uh, seeds so that you can progress through tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 seeds is the hardest thing to uh, deal with and makes uh, makes it hard for people to talk about. So I feel like this is actually very simple. Now you may look, might look at all the uh, components in this and think um, it's easier for you to say you already set it up. That's simple. I'm going to I'm gonna set a brand new one up from scratch uh, right in front of your eyes right in, during this video because it's actually not that hard um, this is set up it's autonomous so these power sources it doesn't matter where your power sources are okay it doesn't matter where your pylons are it doesn't matter where anything else is at you essentially want it's nice to have your power sources organized uh, so that it's easy to connect them but let's take for example I have this storage tank here it's not connected to anything it's just arbitrary it's off in the middle of nowhere I've got it connected to a pylon 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 okay pylons are the most important part of this whole thing honestly it's how you connect things and uh, pylons are have the biggest limitation and the most aggravation when trying to be efficient but all you have to do to make this entire, I mean, it's not long, okay? I don't want to have to run for five minutes. This isn't long, but it doesn't matter how long this is. To make this entire run a part of any of the three systems you set up, all you have to do is connect it to one of them. So I connected to, uh, oh, this is not connected to this one. Oop, my bad. So I connected it to yellow. This is a pylon to a disperser, okay? This is not a pylon connected to a pylon. I connected it to a yellow disperser that's a part of my yellow system. And then everything connected to it all the way back is yellow. I, that's pretty simple. Okay. If I want to make this a part of the purple system, I click it there. And it's a purple system. So that, that's all you need to do. You can set up tiny little systems and then connect them with one connection and then the entire system becomes a part of the whole. There's only three systems that exist. You have blue, yellow, and purple. That's it. And so dividing things that way I, I think simplifies it a lot. Now this uh, setup might look complicated but I promise you it's not. So let's set up a tier 4 um, seed uh, a tier 4 seed pod okay now a tier 4 seed pod can grow uh, any type of seed you want okay 
because uh, it has all it has all the requirements for every seed possible because tier four seeds require the most so the first thing you want to do is start with a life force collector uh, and just throw it anywhere all you need is a seven by seven square and then some space to add in uh, connections to your power source and i have actually i have power sources already here so i'm going to make this independent of everything else okay all right so put the collector down now the first thing you want to do if you're making this a uh, tier four a tier four pod you need uh, tier three seeds that you don't care about because they're not going to grow they're just going to sit there as part of your equipment and so I don't have any tier three seeds to do that with so I apologize uh, but just imagine the tier two seeds are tier three seeds okay so you put tier three seeds on the corners uh, just like this And then what you want to do, and I have not seen a video that does it this way, you take dispersers and you put a disperser next to each seed on each side and then one in the middle. So next to the seed, in the middle, next to the seed, and then the same on every side real quick, just like that. All right, so now all our dispersers are set up. Then you take pylons, not dispersers, you take pylons, and you put a pylon between dispersers, two per side. So this is 100% set up <clears throat> to farm tier four seeds minus your power connections, okay? Sort of like electricity, except we have three sources of power. So we have to set up three independent connections, which the whole thing I was talking about with uh, blue, yellow, and purple. That's easy. We can do that from anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to set up a brand new one. I could set it up. Uh, I could set it up randomly. I'm just going to do it because it looks nice. So I have, uh, I have a blue. So I'm going to put a blue here. I will put, um, I'll put a purple in the middle and a yellow on this side and then so to simulate these power sources being anywhere in the facility I'm not going to connect the power sources directly um, to this autonomous unit I'm going to put uh, a pile on down in between because uh, you'll no matter what you do you're going to end up connecting your power source wherever you put it uh, like for me right now I have my blue power source over in this section here, my yellow power source over here, and my purple power source right here. So that's where I'd have to connect from. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm just doing it like really clean and easy. Um, but it also it doesn't matter um, with the way this uh, grid is set up. So the first thing you want to do connect uh, connect the first pylons to your power sources. And uh, just because it's very clean, put the middle. So the middle that I have uh, purple right now will come to the middle disperser. Um, on this side, we go to the this pylon. And on this side, we go to this pylon. Okay. So now we have started to connect power. Now, in the end, it doesn't matter where your power comes from. You can literally connect to any point. This is just um, making an autonomous can function on its own section, which I can't really because you need a lot of power to power tier four seeds. But so when you're doing this, I have no guide. I have no simple answer for you. Uh, uh, maybe someone could come up with that, I guess. Uh, my s solution or, or my way of dealing with this is connect the farthest position possible. And so Generally, the farthest point from this side, uh, I would say, is the middle. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So, th so this is my starting point. Okay, the middle on this side, where the power is coming from, this pylon right here can connect to that spot. And I need what I've put in the middle is purple. So I need purple in all the middle positions. So I connect that there. So you can look on your mini map here. 
uh, you can see what I already have set up here. It's blue, yellow, purple, blue, yellow, purple, blue, yellow, purple, blue, yellow, purple. So you have even distribution of uh, the condensed life force going all over that pod. And so that's what we're mimicking, but we're doing it in a different order uh, just because. So now uh, we have to set up the order again. Um, I think the way I've kind of decided to do it is just uh, quickly take this blue pylon and connect it to this side. Take the yellow or whatever, like whatever's here, it doesn't matter what color, connect it to this side, okay? So now we've established an order of operation. Yellow, purple, or pink. I call it purple because I like purple. Yellow, purple, blue. And so now we have to set up that up on all the sides. Yellow, purple, blue, four times. And we want to connect as far away as possible generally. It's not going to happen that way all the time. Um, the back side is generally the least important side because if you're setting up a system, you probably want to go have your power source coming from one side and then piggyback um, off the adjacent sides, I guess. Although adjacent isn't an appropriate word the way they've worded uh, seeds. So what we do from here, now we have to get... Uh, our purple to this middle side, which this pylon we've already connected to, will do that. So now we've got purple on three sides in the middle. Uh, what's interesting here, which you want to be careful of, okay? Because I did this and I wasted. So see how this uh, storage container is missing energy? It was full when I started, um, but already pulled the seeds out of this one this one this reminded me of it okay so if I click if I misclick this this right here this disperser you have a manual button and you have a timer um, uh, if you think about it in real world terms okay so you could have a hose that has like an one of those nozzles at the end where you pull the trigger and it fires or you have a sprinkler system set up on a timer so this auto disperse button is the timer. This is auto. If I fire this now, it's gonna just waste. Uh, it's gonna waste uh, life force on the seed that I'd never want to grow anyway. Uh, I, I'll show you. Okay. So if I click this, uh, yep. See that? So it took that energy. It activated this, and it's firing off life force. And so now, this seed, which I'm never gonna grow. Like if you look at the requirements, I can't mouse over it, but that there's a green check mark there and there's a zero. Requires zero more vivid units um, to fire. So once you put seeds in place, uh, you'll have the option to actually hit the manual and uh, yeah, you may end up wasting life force. So that's what happens there. Uh, no big deal, I don't care. Uh, and <laughs> it's actually kind of hard. I can't tell you how to stop this from happening other than disconnecting everything, zoning out and zoning back in. Because it's like if I try and stop it, it's going to tell me uh, you cannot pick up objects that are active. So yeah, I've dealt with that um, issue. But that's not terribly important, I don't think. Because uh, I'm not going to put any more seeds down for it to auto dispense or manually, whatever. So now we just have to connect um, all the colors and get it in order. So now I have to get blue. Now I have to get blue here, uh, which is actually a short transfer. All right, so now I have purple, blue, yellow, purple, blue. So I'd have to get um, yellow over on that side. Oh, I'm not prepared to do that yet. Um, actually, I have this one here, so I connect it to that, connect it across here. Yellow, purple, blue. Yellow, purple, blue. And I still have the purple on this middle. All right, so we just keep connecting around. All right, so I still need purple in the middle here. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. Um, it's probably not the priority in decision making. I do know I need to get yellow here, and I have a, that yellow pile on. Uh, whoops, no, I didn't mean to do that. Connect that yellow to that disperser. Alright, so now we got yellow in three places. I have 
purple in three places, blue in two places. So I need to get blue across that way. All right, I think I can connect blue here and go across this way. I've now got blue in this spot. All right, now I have blue in three places. I have this pile on, which I can get purple from and transfer that way. So now I have three sides done. Now I just need to get blue across to this spot and uh, yellow across to this spot. And I have one, two, three pylons to do it with. Uh, yeah, pretty easy. I have this yellow disperser. Yeah, you all this person have this pile on, so I can connect that and connect this across there. I've got yellow in all four correct places, and now I just need to get blue. I've got this pile on here. I, mean, I can connect it to either of these and then connect it across that disperser, and we're set up. Yeah, everything's in use. Uh, I don't know if that's the only way you can do it. I don't think it is. Uh, I think you can probably do a lot of different combinations. I just did it on the fly. Uh, and I think, yeah, so once you get that set up, you can just set, you know, if you want to just burn resources as in dispersers, pylons, and whatnot, you can just set a bunch of these up uh, and then interchange them. The only thing you have to change about this to make it any other color is the collector and the corner seats. And then this becomes, so you change this from primal to wild, and you change these from primal to wild on the quarters, and it becomes an entirely new setup that's fully functional. Now, if you want to go backwards from this and make this a tier two and tier three seed setup, so we've got the primal uh, life force collector here. So tier two and tier three seeds Oh, this is a bad example. So tier two and tier three seeds require the other the other two colors. So the blue ones will require purple and yellow. Uh, tier two only requires one um, one each per seed, depending on what it is, and tier three requires uh, the other two colors constantly. Uh, which I can show you here, I think. Oh yeah, so here's a tier three seed. This is a purple seed. It requires constant yellow and blue for every tier three seed. So the same works for every other tier three seed. A yellow would require blue and pur purple, uh, and a purple would, or blue would require yellow and. Anyways, tier three requires both of the other colors. Tier two seeds require one of the other colors, but it's not constant. So you have to mix and match on tier twos. So, if I was going to try and back this um, this primal pod off to a tier 2, tier 3 C, all I have to do is go and disconnect the blue part of it, because only tier 4 blue seeds require blue condensed life force. So I just disconnect that. So now this is a tier 2, tier 3 pod for primal. And if you want to go back and collect your resources to use elsewhere you just collect the stuff that uh, is blank so anything that's connected to that uh, I hope I don't click the wrong thing here There may be one or there may be some extras in here, but now you have um, yellow and purple that are going to hit every square of your uh, box for your blue tier two tier three setup. Okay, that's not as easy as I can possibly explain it. I don't know how, hmm. or do I? Uh, and um, 
I don't know if I talked about it at the beginning. They're setting up uh, one of these sections here. So setting up a like a, a string set of storage pods. What you end up doing is wherever your source is coming in from, you connect your source side. Um, and so you probably want to start off with just a nine pod, okay? Just nine and all this extra stuff. You start with just one coming in. Your, so your source coming off of your disp your uh, collectors coming in here. So you set this up and you take this one to one, two, three pods, okay? Connect those three pods to this one. And then you come on this side after you put in... I've got a lot of storage tanks here. Maybe I should use this. This is a little easier. Uh, it's not, not cleaner, I guess. All right. These are all very complicated. Uh, this one's probably the easiest. All right. So you have your source. And you connect this side from the source to one, two, three on this side. And then on the opposite side, you put one, two, three other pylons. And then you go backwards. So you connect this one, one, back to one, two, three. This one back to one, two, three. This one back to one, two, three. And then you connect these three to, towards a source. So that, uh, again, all you have to do is make one connection. And that's just the most efficient, cleanest way to do it on a nine pod of uh, storage containers. Maybe that got more complicated than I wanted to. Um, yeah, and if you didn't make it to this point, I don't blame you. Going back from uh, Tier 2 and Tier 3 is like literally placing a collector and just placing seeds around it to a pile on to a storage container. So hopefully that helps. Um, yeah. If not, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I do intend and try to stream at twitch.tv slash with honor. Uh, you can talk to me in game at with honor. Um, w I T H O N R will actually get a hold of me in game. So, yeah, let me know if that helped. If you have any other questions, uh, but take care. Good luck, exiles.